Good morning. Welcome to the Cathedral of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, an evangelizing parish that makes disciples through worship, formation, and service. We gather this morning to celebrate Tuesday of the second week of Easter. We'd like to extend a special welcome to anyone worshiping with us today for the first time. We sincerely hope that you will join us again very soon. Please use the worship aid to guide you through our celebration today. As good stewards, please help us reuse our worship aids throughout the season. You may turn it into your teacher or to one of the ushers after mass or place it in the bin at the back of the church. It is our custom to invite those not receiving communion, whether Catholic or from another faith tradition, to come forward at communion for a blessing. Simply place your arms across your heart as a sign that you'd like to receive a blessing. As we prepare to enter sacred silence, please take this opportunity to ensure that all cell phones and other noise-making devices are silent. We now pause to pray as we prepare ourselves to begin our worship together. Please stand and join in our entrance hymn, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all the gifts when it is fully revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was one heart and mind, and no one could claim that any of his possessions was his own. But they had everything in common. 
With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. With great favor was accorded them all. They were, there was no needy person among them. For these who owned property or houses, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bringing bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King, in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord, and girt about with strength. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. 
Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you. We speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen, but you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things, and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Nicodemus, who was talking today with Jesus in the Gospel, he was a man who tried to find the truth. And he was, you know, old. And he is coming to Jesus as asking him how I can change everything in my life. How can I be your disciples? And Jesus is answering to him, you must be born from above. And Nicodemus is thinking, I am an old man. How it could happen that I will be born from above? I am already old. And Jesus is saying to them, you have to be born in the spirit. So it's like a, the second wake up. The first born where your mom is giving you born is like a first wake up. Your body is wake up. Do you, are you wake up already right now, today? Yes? It was hard to wake up today or it was easy? Hard, yeah. I, it, my, it was hard. I still am asleep a little bit. And this is like, a, you know, our firstborn, born by body. It's really hard sometimes. It's really hard, you know, to adjust to a day. And then Jesus is saying to us, to us you have to born from above. You have to born of the spirit. This is like, a, you know, the second life. It's like a new energy. And this is, is coming to us by the sacrament of baptism. We become a new, we become more awake when we are receiving sacrament of the baptism. You know, this is a different, like a wake up on the morning, Monday morning to go to school or Saturday at noon. What time you wake up on Saturday? What time? Saturday, like at 10 a.m., 9 a.m., late, or earlier? 6 a.m. on Saturday? I don't believe you. No, no, you are, you are making a joke with me. Saturday we wake up and we are fresh, yeah? We don't have to go to school. And we are fresh. And we want to play and we want to do everything. And maybe even we wake up at six, as someone say. But you know, knowledge that you don't, we don't have to go to the school make us more happy, yes? Yes, of course. When I wake up on Saturday I, and I know that I have nothing to do, I am ready to do everything. And this is a difference when we just born first time by body and second time of the spirit. And this is why Jesus said, everyone who born 
from the Spirit from above is like a wind. Wind is free, can go everywhere and do everything. When we born by the sacrament of baptism, we become free. We belong only to God and we can do everything. Remember this. You are like a wind. You are free. Why? Because you chose God. Because you chose Jesus. Be with him and you will be free. Amen. Let us present our hopes and our needs in our petitional prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all church leaders, that the Holy Spirit will give them the grace to lead all people we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation's leaders, that the Lord will give them the wisdom to make good decisions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the sick, and the lonely, that they will find strength and hope in God's love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our military and all those who serve to protect our country, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the students, faculty, and staff, and all members of our Sacred Heart Cathedral family, that we may all remember to seek the Lord during this Easter season, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of John Purcell, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God Almighty Father, hear our prayers and answer them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find the light in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more graciously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by raising, restore our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. The 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and he in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grant us, we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as ye await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl above the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer to receive a new bishop. Praise to you, Lord our God, our eternal shepherd and guide. We know that all authority comes from you. With confidence in your providence, we entreat you to provide the Diocese of Knoxville, a new shepherd after your own heart. In your love for us, send us a shepherd who will lead us in being Christ, heart of mercy, voice of hope, and hands of justice. Help him to fill our minds and hearts with the truth of the gospel, the power of the sacraments, and desire to be loved your holy church. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ the Lord is risen too. 